Hey everybody, welcome back to Surviving the Aftermath. I hope you're having a great day. We've got a bunch of different things over here on the left. I kind of want to look at some of them. Obviously, we're still doing the main quest and the medicine ruins. Uh, the medicine run actually is going to be on the map and we are very close to that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead help? and let our new buddy Wallaby here uh, go ahead and just take a look at the medicine run. Found something. Okay, so it says, once white, sterile walls have turned gray from decades of dust. Surprisingly, it's inhabited. Old man with a crown of silver hair around his bald head steps forth and greets the visitor. Medicine? You're a bit late for that, I'm afraid. Bandits came by a few weeks back, demanding my stash. I told them I'm old and sick, but they robbed me blind anyway. I can point you to where they came from. Cool. So we're going to follow the bandits. And... Appears as though they're over here. Yep, thieving bandits are here. Now, I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't look like we have to fight them. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have to fight them, so I think Wallaby could probably stay on that course. I've also got our buddy Darius here in the car. We're going to have to bring that car all the way back to camp. We'll use that eventually. Uh, and then we're probably going to send Darius back out. These guys are all heading on the way back, so like everybody's kind of working their way back here. I think what we're going to end up doing is taking Vegas... And um, when he arrives back at camp, we're gonna turn him into a settler and then have Vegas come all the way back. And we're gonna set up a camp over in this area. And the reason of that for that is because of this. This location gives us one automatic rifle every 12 hours. One of the automatic rifles every 12 hours. Now that is sick. So we're going to go ahead and set up a camp over there so that we always have a constant stream of very high quality uh, weapons. Sounds Reporting awesome. It. The Darius has full health. We could send him right back to the map, actually. Now that he's brought the car back, there's really no reason for him to be in the camp. So uh, we'll up? have that happen. And then I think we're going to have you... Um, you know, I might actually have you come all the way down here and try to get these components. 150% scavenge isn't too bad. You're going to take a lot of damage, though. I feel like I really want somebody who is even better at this. We don't need the weapons as much as we need the science. Um, and I also need tools. We're getting those already. Co components are going to be the big thing here. I think components, if I can get them without taking too much damage, that'd be nice. But I just don't see anywhere where I can do that at the moment. I'm curious if I can set up multiple camps in a, in a region. Would I be able to get... Would I be able to double dip the clothing if I did that? You know? Like, build in a region I've already built one? Or built in? That'd be cool. Maybe some iodine pills. We haven't gotten any, like, major storms. Oh, this is good. Oh, yeah, this is good. Yeah, there's 200 science points here. Going. I'm going to let you go up and get that. We haven't had any, like, nuclear fallouts or anything like that yet. So, uh, massive radiation isn't a thing to truly concern ourselves with just yet. But it will be, you know? It, like, it's going to happen just just about how long, you know? It's not an if, it's a when thing. Uh, so, concrete's being directed to right here. At least it should be coming right directly here. Um, I'm curious as to whether or not that's even happening at a reasonable speed. We got excellent clothing here, sturdy clothing on you, and durable tools. And we're almost done researching sledgehammers. Uh, wow, we went through that entire pile already? Dang. We just blew right through that metal. You know, though, the metal is pretty high up. Like, we are going to use this. I, I'm not going to limit the production for these resources. They're going to be used. We might as well gather them now. Later on, it might it might work out to do it differently, but uh, for the time being, I kind of don't. Uh, yeah, I kind of don't care. I, I want as much of it as I can get. We've made a new discovery. The sludge hammers being done means that we're now going to be able to get concrete uh, forty percent faster. I think we can probably start on going farming irrigation see about getting irrigated fields it might be worth taking a pit stop on soil studies just to get that planting speed increase probably and then uh some people mentioned they wanted to see ice fishing 
So, I mean, we can, we're going to do all these things. I just don't know which order to do them in, like what the best order for this is. Animal husbandry is nice, but we have to actually like go out and buy those animals, which I have money for, so maybe, but we have to buy the animals uh, to, to, in order to use them like this. Um, so maybe getting a large ranch and stuff later. I think we're going to go down irrigation for now. I'm going to queue that up. Uh, answers to a couple of questions we've had. Uh, one... I'm aware that we can upgrade buildings. This is uh, something I've actually demonstrated already. This is a hunting cabin. Uh, I've demonstrated already. We talked about it already. Um, I'm aware you can upgrade buildings, but you cannot always upgrade buildings in place. For example, tents cannot be upgraded to shanties. It's a logical next step, but because the footprint is larger, you can't just flat upgrade to it. It will not allow you to do it. You can upgrade to a crowded tent, but that is not the same as a shanty. Likewise, for the shanty, we can do an improved shanty if we want to, because it's the same footprint. It just simply gives them a happiness bonus. So I can go ahead and queue some of these to upgrade, but then I have to completely demolish it and it starts building one to replace it instead. And it's, it's just a little weird and like, I'm not gonna do it all the time, but if it's the same footprint, then fine, cool. Um, let's get this gate managed. And then just in case we need people here too, let's get that going. Um, do we have anybody? Your orders. Kate, come over here. She's not full health, but she's, you know, it's better than nothing. And then let's take care of the map first before we get this Mission these complete. bandits. So, Hakeem, how about we have you go and get fuel, and then you can come back. You have 19 protective clothing right now, which is pretty good. Uh... But we're, we're we're positive on this, so, and we're producing one. I I think this is fine. Let's go. Let's have you go get the fuel. You got it. Your orders. Yeah, Vegas, you're heading back to Colony. Mission complete. And then uh, you just went ahead and got a bunch of tools for us, and I think I want you to head back to Colony as well. Your command. Yep. All so right. let's just have you guys. Almost. You guys Sounds are almost good. there. I think I'd already queued those What's guys up? up to do that, yeah. And then you are returning to Colony with iodine pills and candy bars. Nice. My pleasure. What's up? All right, good. So I think okay. we have two people now. We have two specialists now at home to help with this raid. Although the specialists are wounded, they will be, you know, you they'll be very useful for this purpose. Uh, and then we got the reinforced gate that has all three people on it. So let's go see what these guys want. Cults are not unheard of in a world like this, feeding on people's drive to seek meaning in the chaos. Now one such cult has arrived at the gate. Their leader rings a bell and calls out to the colony. Listen up, you faithless lot. Salvation awaits those who offer everything for it. <laughs> Open the gates and give us what we seek. They look to be rather weak and poorly armed. Yeah, you, can, you guys can leave, thanks. So be it. You brought this upon yourselves. That's fine. I'm not gonna give them money. We're just gonna we're just gonna defeat them instead. So it looks like we'll win this fairly. This is a fairly one-sided battle. Reinforced gate is definitely helping. I really wish we could now take these vehicles, you know, scrap them and stuff. Like get resources for this. That'd be great. Triumphed over our enemies. Nice. So we're going to go ahead and repair this with 18 metal. That's pretty straightforward. We'll go ahead and do that. We can un... We can take uh, you guys off of here, and then you yes. guys can just go and do whatever you want at this point, I guess. Yeah. Uh, does Kate yep. have... No. Personal health is still bad. Okay. Well, I'll let her do whatever she wants then. Ah, uh, let's Ready. see. Wallaby. Let's go see what we can do with this medicine run. What do we have here? All right, so the bandit camp looks more like a makeshift pit stop than a proper settlement. It is eerily still, however. The scattered tents show no signs of movement, and the place is completely silent. A hastily crafted stockpile is standing right at the edge of the camp, and a few bandit corpses are scattered around the tents. So we either search for this, or we bring somebody else of a different profession to come in here and get this instead. Fighters or scientists. Uh, so we might be able to get that. If I close this... We can still come back here with a fighter or a scientist. Your command. And um, 
I think the, you know Vegas is still a scout and everything, so it's not going to be him. You got it. So now I'm wondering if I can just bring Pinkman in yes. as a fighter to just do this. He doesn't have a whole lot of health, but um, like he's only a few turns away, so what do we have here? I think I'm going to let Pinkman. You know, honestly, if I brought him, mm, actually. What's up? So that it's that that trick, right, where you bring him in and then they get that extra movement. That would have been ideal. That would have uh -huh. been an ideal time to do that, wouldn't it? Yeah, because I could have brought him right here instead, and then you got the extra movement to come all the way out here. But it's it's one extra turn. It's fine. Uh, you come on in. That gives us some extra stuff. Yep. So we got people in 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 the camp. You know, it's they're gonna have to heal. It's needed. We're still low on clothing, but we're, our supply is starting to build a little bit. And then, uh, our, speaking of building supplies, you know, we're, we're getting concrete brought here. They shouldn't be delivering it here anymore. Should all be going here. This is the main priority. But we're going to start upgrading our shanties. And then as soon as we have advanced farming done, which is happening right about now, we should now be able to make medium fields and large fields these are much bigger fields with much greater possibilities and um i think if i place this here yeah i won't be able to place them both so it's gonna be this one and then medium ones potentially maybe i could go this way though eh, no the the big fields are just too big but it grows vegetables in large quantities. We could put another one back over here, potentially. I just want one big field for food. So I'm thinking, I, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right here. This is 100% efficiency, one giant field. Right there. We can get people working it. And now we're starting irrigation, which I believe is an upgrade to existing fields. Speaking of which, let me also get farmers on these fields, too. Uh, I forget the other questions I was going to answer. Uh, oh, somebody pointed this out. This this wasn't a thing I didn't think you could do. Uh, somebody pointed this out, that there's a carrier count for the campsite where you can set a minimum amount of carriers, which uh, I totally didn't see that before. So I've got that set to five right now so that we don't go under five. Uh, what else? Pinkman. Honestly, at this point, I might as well just bring you back, right? drop off the stuff you have ready sounds good yeah and then uh our scout friend here actually our scavenger friend here we're gonna have the scavenger friend um maybe maybe you can do this your scavenger speed is 200 percent you should be able to get these and by taking less damage it's only three pips so you'll take 45 damage here but you'll get 62 components for us sure thing that's all right. I think you can do it. Pinkman. What you need? That's Vegas. Where's Pinkman? Pinkman. 50 health. I'm going to send you back to the world map. And then I'm going to see about you Shoot. going to this spot here as a fighter. And we'll something. just take these guys down. Hopefully we can take recontrol uh, yep. or retake control of the uh, supplies and stuff too. Gotcha. Be nice. We're gonna get some more research on that side. Hi, meteors. Damn meteors. Um, I think this one's actually gonna go. I'm gonna demolish the tent. Everything else will go ahead and get fixed up. And I might, I'm gonna take this opportunity to just make an improved shanty um, because it needs that eight plastic. I'm wondering if I just set it to upgrade, is it going to still need the extra resources? This is something I've been wondering about. So let me just go ahead and try it. And it doesn't look like it needs anything extra. So if you're going to upgrade a shanty, doing it while it's like in a repair state seems to be a better option. Just really quickly do this while it needs to be repaired. And we have the supplies to do this whole thing. So I'm gonna have all three of these shanties upgraded. That might be, that's gonna make some people homeless. Yep, for a little bit. But if we can get that done, I'm gonna switch this to next. Make sure that they build all of these next instead. And then let's get carrots. Hmm. Good growth rate on the carrots. Plant-based nutrition is higher than the other two. Yeah, I think we're gonna go carrots here. So giant carrot field, huh? 
<laughs> Let's do it. And then we'll get two people working in that field. Everybody's, all the farmers and stuff are working in this field just fine. And then it uh, looks like we could probably bring some fishermen back. But it says there's no free workers now. And that's because I've said a minimum five on the carriers, right? And so now it's not letting that. So if I go down to four, just just let me do four. That's going to allow there to be a fisher. And that's, that's fine with me for now. Head over to... I thought for sure I saw another wood pile. Maybe it was this one. I mean, this is where the marker already is. I guess I saw this one. So there's no more wood piles to gather wood from. We might need to make another scout tower. Yeah, we can't see any additional stuff. So we'll move the work area to be just like over here for now. And then we'll change it later. How much concrete do we get here? 88, man. It's just taking forever. 96. They're still going to deliver this, I guess, even with, even though the other things are built next. There it is. Yeah. So this should hopefully get them to be happier, right? Their happiness goes up with this. And then I can improve this one if I'd like to, but I'm trying to see the improvements. It looks to me like... Mostly it's just like Christmas lights and there's like a pool. Okay, so it's like extra furniture and stuff. Yeah, it also looks a tad bit larger, doesn't it? Got its own little like big tank on the top here. So its own personal outhouse, yeah. Oh, speaking of which, that's, that's the other thing I wanted to do. I wanted to create some toilets uh, and put those in here too. So um, we have to make outhouses and then upgrade them to toilets. I believe is how that works. So what I was hoping to do is kind of nest them back in here. I was going to put them here, but actually I'm not sure. I'm not sure that upgrade works. Like what's the, what's the size of it? If I was going to upgrade this to a toilet, it requires access to the water tower, which is why I'm putting it over here because it will get access to this water tower. But also because this is more centrally located and it doesn't pollute. So if you if you do get the toilet built, there is no pollution. So I think I'm gonna actually I'll have this other one right uh, next to it, like right here. And then as soon as it's built, I'm gonna upgrade it to a toilet. Go. So now it will get upgraded. And it looks like it's just yeah, ten extra ten extra metals. Again, I kind of wish I could just build the toilet straight up instead of having to upgrade it. It's an extra step that I don't, I just don't care for, but it, it works, I guess. In some of the buildings, it does let you do it, like the boilers. It does let you do it, but most of them, so far in my experience anyway, a lot of them, you have to build the base one and then upgrade it. So, it is what it is. Irrigation is complete. And I think I'm going to switch to go back to soil studies here real quick, just to get the planting to be faster. And that should take care of pretty much should take care of all of our you know basic food needs for quite a while i would think um one of the things i do want to do here is i'm wondering if i upgrade this field does it take out the crops so crops with the irrigation system can grow on barren ground when fertile soil is scarce so I don't need that here. This is already fertile soil. I would need it over here. I would need an irrigated field if I'm going to do it like over in this area, which is totally doable. We'll look at that later. I don't need the irrigated field right now, though, it seems. Uh, how are we looking at this? Very close. It's getting there. God, this thing takes a lot of resources, doesn't it? But getting rid of pollution, though, it's um, it's a it's a big deal have this thing built next they're still spreading out the resources you can see the concrete's gone up since the last time we checked so they still delivered some of it over here all right pinkman take them out what do we have here let's see what they're gonna do oh, wait a minute he's a fighter wait a minute pinkman's not a fighter pinkman's a scavenger oh i'm sorry i just assumed because you had the highest attack out of everyone that you were a fighter. That's just overlooking things. Okay. So which one of you Mission complete. 
which one of you are fighters? What's up? Uh, Mishka? Your command. You're a scientist? Yeah. Do I not have a fighter? Yes. Mm. I don't How have I one. I just assumed because he had 25 attack, All he was, yeah. but I didn't bother to check the job, I guess. Well, Hakeem's a scientist, and there's a scientist prompt over here, so I could have Hakeem do it on the way back. I'm going to do that. I'm going to have Hakeem do this do on the way back. Ah, poor Pinkman. Sorry, can't do that. I'll have you go back that way. Uh, and then mm -hmm. Wallaby Jack here. You guys remember that game? Anybody old enough to remember Wallaby Jack? Huh? The Binky Burrow Stone? Oh, I even remember that. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Look it up sometime. Yes. Uh, Darius. Uh, you already got all the science. I guess the meds? I guess, I guess the meds. I don't really want you fighting anything. Well. You get the protective clothing. You'll take some damage, but it's kind of worth it. Check. Let's go get it. And I think, yeah, as soon as Vegas is yes. home now, we're going to turn him into a settler. So Vegas, you are becoming a settler. Yep. And your gig is to come all the way over here uh, in this territory here. We can set it up maybe like right here. Consider it done. And uh, you're going to get us these weapons. There's also some survivors over here too, but you're going to get us the weapons, I think. Uh, speaking of survivors, we have 10 over here. They're ready to go. And this is actually an active camp. I have to, I have to actually hit this button. So I'm going to hit take survivors. If ready to invite survivors from the outpost into the colony, they will join the colony as colonists upon arrival. Yes. So now we've gathered up 10 of them in this and we can invite them in. So now we're going to get, they're going to slowly work their way here and then they will join Fangshire. Okay. So we're going to have 10 more people. We'll need to prepare ourselves by having more housing for those 10 more people. So I'm going to come over here to our little housing block. And I was kind of hoping that maybe hmm, if I was to, say, place a shanty here, does that interrupt me at all? My plans? I don't, I don't think so. I think I can go straight through like this. Like, oh, why? Is that just not? It's one more tile over. That's unfortunate. Well, okay. It's okay. It's okay. We can make do. Um, we'll just go like that. And then over like this. And then we can just decorate. Extra places over here can just be decorations. I also want to have a nice walk path back to the bathrooms. So we'll also have a path that goes like that. Does it look clean? Eh. I think it has character. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm going to go with. This thing has character. And then um, we obviously can't fit any shanties or anything back in this area. Because they don't fit. Right? With the, the road being there and everything. So... Um, we're gonna have this one go right next to this one. Like that. And then this road is going to go We've made a new discovery. like this. Yeah, all the way up to there for now. Okay, how's the plastic doing? We have we have so much metal right now. We have so much metal right now. I don't need this building. The advanced scrapper is doing good work for us. However, if I wanted to scrap from two different resources, I guess I could always just do that and then pull somebody off of that. You can start pulling from both. Yeah. Um, let's see, we're really short on wood. Maybe that's the better way to do this. Maybe instead of having the scrapper go, we have another lumber yard. Because wood is becoming difficult to keep up with. If I was to go another lumber yard, let's say all of this area here is probably a good area to try this with. So we can put the lumber yard uh, maybe back in like so. We'll build this and then have them, you know, work with this area. And then I think scout tower wise, I might just tear this down and build a new one way out here. There are survivors at the gate. Yeah, about like that. 
are these the same oh no these are not the survivors we invited so these are completely different survivors <laughs> oh good we it's gonna be a party yeah great um all right so we have we have room for six right now once this is built we'll have room for four additional and you know this just got built which is kind of nice we can upgrade it yeah we can you know i'm kind of like leaving this area to be houses eventually but i don't remember the footprint for the houses i, th I think they uh i think they're bigger than yeah i think they are i don't really want to build it necessarily on fertile land but this is my housing district and since we have irrigated fields now it's less of a deal so why don't we take and build another shanty here we'll just go into this a little bit here here and ooh why ooh it won't allow me to it's gonna be here then and here we'll have like this other they're really far away I'll probably need another food source if I'm going to be this far away. I think another thing I could do is have another scout tower placed. It's probably going to be useful. To scout this extra land over here. So we'll pop one of those down too. And then we have negative four water at the moment. So we're, we're doing great on storage. Um, but we're, we're down. We're definitely down water. So I'm going to need another well. And that's fertile land that we just placed that house by. So I should be able to place the fertile uh, the well over here with reasonable efficiency. Right about here. 97 seems good to me. Uh, mark it. And then maybe another one over in this area. As long as I can get it to be... Yeah, that's, that's not actually going to work. As soon as it builds, it's not going to... Oh, here we go. 94, 93. Ideally, building wells where I can't build anything else seems like a great idea. So let's try the uh, 11 plus water here. Let's just go with that. So lots of things to build. All right. A ragged bunch shuffles slowly towards the gate. They have five injured people. Two adults, two children, three elders, and five of them are injured. And they're bringing fuel with them. That doesn't help us with much of the resources that we need. But and it, it gives us three elderly too. Uh, I don't know if I like this group. I think I'm going to reject right, these guys. I already have survivors coming that I, I suspect anyway are in better condition than those guys are. Most of those guys are they're not bringing me any any resources i need and most of them are well yeah most of them are injured uh and or elderly i'm gonna get rid of this outhouse we don't need enough we don't need those anymore since we have these two usually i, I would say that these two are probably what would be used most often and then we could even improve this further by adding another one right here kind of how i tried to space it out anyway one two and then we'll upgrade these to be toilets as well and then yeah it's gonna suck down water but that's that's all right with me uh what's this last one here new beginnings defeat 10 hostile wild animals i haven't had to do that yet not really you know like i remember this one time in the when i used to play and they probably still have this event is there's like a big bear or something that comes at you and you have to fight off a giant bear I remember that being a thing anyway. Let me take a look really quick at our settler slowly moving where he needs to go. Consider it done. There we go. Uh, Pinkman, uh -huh. you, you're you going to come back to Colony because right. you're wounded. And then um, Hakeem yes. is working his way towards Found the marker. What's up? Wallaby, what you on about? Did you get? You didn't get this yet. Um, yeah, your scavenging speed. 200%, right. You're giving me these. Okay. And you're going to take some damage, but you're a real trooper. I think you can handle it. I have 1,337 coins. Fantastic. Uh, I can spend them on a specialist. And now we get a fighter. Okay. 
100 health, 25 damage, recruit for 700 bucks. Nice. Okay. All right. So now we've got Garote, Garrett. Nobody knows her real name or why she hides her face. The easy answer would be that it's all simply for the thrill of acting as a masked vigilante. If so, it's not like anyone could blame her for enjoying beating up bandits for other and other villainous scum. I'm definitely sending her to the map. And uh, the fighter, if it can reach in one move, we have you uh -huh. do it instead. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to have you go Bad here instead. Stuff. Instead of Hakeem. Hakeem can redirect himself to uh, maybe searching this zone for us. And seeing what's over there. Oh, they are almost here. Look at them. They're like right here on the gates, man. Any second now, they're going to show up. I want to see if I can see them. Like, do I see them actually walk through here? Oh, never mind. Oh, they're just here. They just showed right up. They have no homes or no clothing. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. So how many homeless? Only four. We solved that by having the shanties built. Don't we? Yes, we do. Ah, uh, I need wood for the shanty to be built, though, don't I? Oh, I sure do. Let's, um... Nine out of 40. How, where am I going to get the wood? I think I built things too quickly. Yeah, I'm going to have to tear something down to get the wood. Uh, I'm tempted to actually tear down this extra scrapper. I don't think it's necessary. If I tear this down, what do I get for it? Alright, there is some wood here. 36 of it. I want all of it put in right here. That would that's gonna allow our lumber mill to get built. All right, sweet. I think with that extra population, I can dip this up to five again, and then uh, the cookhouse. I need people, like I need people working here for sure. We are severely dipping on water now. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about any type of heat wave or anything just yet. And. This well has gotten resources delivered to it that are plastic. Uh, this one's almost built, actually. 27 wood. Okay. I, this will solve our water problem. We just have to... It's just going to be a little bit of time until we get there. But it will solve the water problem. As far as... I, yeah. Let's get line cooks. And then uh, we'll head down maybe... Uh, mess hall, man. I think we'll head down drilled wells after this. We can upgrade our existing wells to drilling to drilled wells, and um, then they'll just work better for us. Yeah. So, you know, honestly, that that would make sense to do. Like, I don't need this one. Let's cancel that one. We'll let this one build. That'll offset it a little bit, and then um, we can start upgrading the existing ones we have instead. I like that better. Okay, still have five homeless colonists. Until this gets built, our wood situation isn't likely to improve. And done. Let's go ahead and get two people working in here. And we'll have you managing that. Uh, taking resources out of that. And you know what? Probably should have targeted this so that I could build here and not have to waste the trees. One of the colonists has been acting off lately. She's having a hard time completing simple tasks, and even as she walks, she veers from side to side. When asked about it, she insists that she's fine. Insists she's fine, uh, but when pushed, she admits to finding a spring a few days ago from which she's been drinking. Oh. Let's check the water. One colonist has radiation sickness. She shows the way to the spring, and on the surface, the water looks clean and safe to drink. But as a few colonists follow the stream, they discover a point of contamination. Clearly, the water is polluted, and the woman is suffering from radiation sickness. The woman is clearly shocked by the discovery, and after being treated, she vows to stay away from the dubious water sources. All right. So we have one person who's irradiated. It'll, I'm sure she'll get fixed. That is not a woman. That is George. George is not a woman. 
George is a perfectly healthy elder male citizen. But I guess I don't know. <laughs> like it's just it's the the story is apparently just picking a colonist at random. Okay. I think we have the wood output. I think we have satisfactory wood output. I'm also going to take people off of the logging camps. For the time being, I, I don't know if we... Mm, okay, one. Not not both. One. Because we are using them in the cookhouse. But for the time being, there, I don't think we need two of them. And that will help us um, on like our consumption of wood. We're not going to consume it as quickly, I guess, is what I mean to say. Uh, let's go ahead and build the shanty next. At least the one that's already partially built. And that will provide the homes for most of the people who are... Oh, here we go. Yes, here we go. Okay. So, pollution, right? And then this one's getting built now, too. Okay. We got it, guys. Environmental station is up. We're going to start clearing this place of pollution. This feels good. Let's go ahead and just have this be a thing. No, not this. Let's have, um, let's have this be a thing for now. Yeah, this pile just got wrapped up. It looks like they actually take care of it a lot faster than they used to, which is a welcome sight to see. Um, we're going to say that these two piles are next. Should be fairly straightforward. Um, what else? Waste dump is done. Hmm? Six pollution is in storage. But what else? What else do we do? The scout towers are going to need wood. This house is being built. Let's go ahead and tell them to build this one next. But this one's done now, so only one person is homeless. Dustin. Sorry, Dustin. You drew the short straw, man. Akeem? You know what? Yes. I, I think I want her to... I, I think I want... I think I want the fighter to go in there. What do we have here? We're going to have the fighter go in here. We're going to storm the camp. Walking in the camp without anyone getting in the way is suspiciously easy. Suddenly, a few bandits, bandits emerge from the tents, but they look far too weak to fight. Do what you want, one of them says, his voice trembling. It can't be worse than this. Whatever illness has ravaged these bandits, it has absolutely decimated them. It is a tough world, and they look to be beyond hope. They won't be needing the medicine, and it's only getting... Uh, it's only just... Wow, I, can, I can't speak. They won't be needing the medicine, and it is only just to get the medicine back for those who belong to, who belongs to. That's a very sh strangely structured sentence, anyway. Quest complete. Quest complete. Yeah. Hakeem, go this way. Oh. Oh, are you not even allowed to enter? Oh, is that how that works now? We're not allowed to enter the territory without fighting. Oh, that's that's interesting. I didn't know that's how that worked. I mean, it makes sense. It just it didn't work that way before. Before in previous versions of the game, you could just walk around these areas. It didn't matter. The only reason to take the bandits out was to actually see if there were any resources here. But now it looks like bandit controlled areas like this, you actually have to take them out before you can even enter. That's that's cool. Okay, cool. Now that I know. Um, Hakeem, why don't we just send you back to camp then? Because you got some stuff yes. on you. Okay. We'll have you return to colony. And we're going to need a bunch Mission of firepower. Complete. Yeah, we're going to need a whole lot of firepower here. Can you survive this? 23 hours. So you'll take 20 additional damage. You can survive this, yes. To get these basic tools. Right away. Go ahead and do that. And then the settler. Hi. You're going to get us weapons. Weapons are nice. We'll have you set up camp right over here. Sure thing next to the mountains and we're gonna see about getting these weapons scavenger outpost weapons yes right. that is crazy good Outpost we're just gonna have weapons sent to us now that's insanely good automatic rifles no doubt not just weapons but automatic rifles very good we can stockpile those that'd be sweet everybody will be armed the bandits don't stand a chance man Oh, yeah. Mutated colonists. I uh, Is this when you are radiated and I don't do anything to help them? Colonists is infected, mutated, or injured, or caught in radiation sickness. Build a medical tent and have it staffed to treat conditions as soon as possible. Well, I do. I have it, I have it in. I have it staffed. Maybe I don't have enough people. 
I have two. They're both completely occupied, though. I think I need another hospital. Another medical tent. It'd be nice to have an actual full-fledged hospital, though. Um, getting close to that boiler was the ideal decision. Does feel like the ideal thing to do. I guess we'll have a far along tent over here. One that's just a little further away from everybody. And then, uh, is that it for today? I, I wanted to get environmental stuff up and I wanted to finish that side quest. That was my two things. And, uh, turns out a lot more things happened than that. So, great. Uh, we're, yeah, we are taking care of the pollution now, though. There's only one left here and then this is done. That's awesome. You are definitely going to get irradiated by taking care of the, taking out the pollution, though. I wonder if there's... I thought this station was supposed to provide extra protection for them or something. I guess not. Balance is negative 12. That's only during the night. Yeah, so we're pulling off that battery for the station at night. But that pollution's gone now. And then this one's going to get worked on now, too. Mm -hmm. uh, where next? Probably over in this area. Yeah, these, these areas here, probably. Let's have them... Well, let them choose which one of these two they want to work on. Both of these need done anyway. All right. <laughs> Injuries, irradiation, colonists is under attack. What? Oh, shit. Colonists is under attack in combat. He's taking on a bear. That's a big ass bear. All right. Uh, I have people like Pinkman who can come and help. I have people like Aramis who can come and help. And I have people like Kate who can come and help. Uh -huh. You. Go help. All Guys, right. everyone attack. I don't know which one of you are closest, so I'm going to have all of you respond. Go. Everyone respond and come and help this guy. This poor soul taking on this bear by himself. He's actually holding his own. Like, a lot more than I thought he would. Um, if I could get him to run away, though, that'd be better. We do have help coming, though. And then a couple is arguing over here, too. We're going to look to address that as well. What's this? Not connected to water network. Why? Because you're out. Oh, it's pulling from this. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We are neutral on water now, though. But because of that, right, it's, it's, it's like draining the last source you place first, right? So even though I, even though I'm not losing water at the moment, it's still going to do that. Shucks. All right. Let's go for drilled wells so that I can uh, upgrade one of the existing wells, but I will need water provided to that. I need a surplus of water in order to do that. Can I like, I was wondering if I could, if I pause this toilet, does that help me at all with water? It doesn't look like it. Okay, let's turn it back on. We'll deal with it in a second. Probably just add another well and be done with it. Uh, where's this bear? Shoot it guys. Shoot the bear. Shoot the bear. Everybody shoots the bear. The bear dies. We have meat. Uh -huh. We have meat for the bear. It's dead. Yep. Take this. Hey, look, there's wood here. 220 of it. Whole bunch of it. Thanks, Scout Tower. Thank you, Scout Tower. You. Come over here. Hi. Yep. All the way over here and get this. All right, we need to take care of the wood problem. I think pr probably there is only one way to deal with it, and that is just taking and getting another well. So um, 27, 23, meh, terrible. We'll put it over here, I guess, 98%. Yeah, we'll just we'll just do this. It's I didn't want it one, I didn't want one there, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And then we're gonna say build that next. Uh, yes. Build it next. We 
peculiar that this didn't get built in time. This has been prioritized for quite a while. They built all the wells first, though. Die. What? Who died? Radiation sickness. Are they just not getting cared for? Is that what it is? I think so. All right, let's check out this uh, fight here. Commotion has formed in the middle of the colony. Uh, a couple is arguing about how their children should be raised. The mother thinks they should be tasked with handling domestic work, while the father thinks that they should be allowed to spend their days playing. Wow, that's like the opposite of what I would have thought it would be. I think the children should be educated. Even though the colony's needs, uh, the colony needs all the help it can get, the best solution long term is to look into educating the children. Talk of the build, talk of building schools and in, ensues, uh, as everyone wants the children to learn how to be productive members of society. Yes, yeah, see, there's one thing that all the parents can agree on: kids should go to school. Everyone agrees. I bet the children are amongst those smiley faces as well. Uh, okay, so we have a positive balance with water. When this well gets built, we'll have even greater positive balance with water. We are struggling on wood a little bit, but that's going to change now. Two lumber mills working uh, at high capacity. Plus, we've now uncovered this pile of wood here, which we're going to start pulling from. So all of this is going to translate to us being able to build all the facilities that we need and uh, getting these areas here back on track. I need to repair the cookhouse because it's damaged. And so we're running a little bit low on food at the moment, but we are going to see the, the, the yield. This is 80% grown. We're going to pull food from this. And then we also have all of these fields are pretty close to being grown too, especially these two. So we're going to get a bunch of vegetables brought in. And so right now, the, the only things that are really necessary at the moment is to get that well built so that we have a good oversupply of water. We're gonna build another tower. And to be honest, the location of this tower kind of sucks now. So I might build two towers, one, two. So I might tear this down and build it, build another one next to it, unless it just lets me, yeah. So I need to move this over like here and then I'll build the other one next to it here um, so that there are, there'll be two of them. And I could also get away with maybe putting one here, but uh, well, yeah, I mean, I could get away with building another one here. Eventually, I'll want the mess hall. And the mess hall is a pretty big building. It most likely will fit right here. It's going to need power as well, so that works. So I probably will build the mess hall here. And if I do that, then the medical camp needs to move over. But we're going to want a hospital too. And for the hospital, I might just ditch the hunting cabin here. And, and move it out further out. And then same thing with the tailor. Let's move it further out. And then um, you could place the hospital here. So there's, there's options, you know? There's lots of options to go as we move forward. We have 70 colonists. 10 of them are carriers at the moment. All things are good. We have plenty of houses that are going in here. Uh, plenty of shanties and stuff going in. And then we're researching drilled wells. So this is probably, this is probably the last well we have to, to build here. Uh, and then from this point on, we can just upgrade them to drill dwells, which I think requires power. So we're going to need to distribute power, um, if I'm not mistaken. I may be mistaken here. Let me take a look really quick. Drilled wells. Uh, they do not need power. Okay. Maybe it's the other ones that do. Like deep drilling. Okay, the bore well needs power. Okay. Yeah, yeah. so the next, next one does. But the drilled wells, not so much. So I mean, maybe it's not the last well we build, but you know we're gonna want to start distributing Come power around people as well. Radiation sickness is gonna kill quite a few people, looks like. But we have our medical tents fully staffed, and the other one is trying to build it, but wood. So that that problem is going to change now. It's gonna get fixed. So in any case, I'm gonna leave this video here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate you. You can like the video. If you like it, I hope that you'll subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next. I hope you are too. Take it easy. Bye-bye.